Now, while the government builds the housing program a key economic pillar, the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, launched a month before the elections back in August 2022, did not clearly state funding of the program through a levy. And a day after its reintroduction, following the signing of the bill into law, Citizen TV's Ayub Abdul Qadir looks back at the pledge, the reality, and supposed executive judiciary agreement that President William Ruto talked about. Take a listen. A flagship promise running into billions of shillings, but whose financing mechanism is not contained in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. A trace back. Let me go to the third subject of housing. Housing, ladies and gentlemen. Back in June 2022, Deputy President William Ruto launched a 65 page manifesto codenamed The Plan, and which, on the housing subject, made financial commitment to fund the program, as outlined on page 20 of the manifesto, stating, of which budget commitment of Kenya shillings 50 billion, with Kenya shillings 200 billion to be financed by pension funds, currently standing at 1.5 trillion Kenya shillings, and other collective investment schemes, including diaspora bonds. The reality is that the government has now abandoned its own pledge in its own document and has insisted on taking the most controversial taxation route, despite challenges on political podiums and in courts where a three-judge bench of the High Court declared it unconstitutional, terming it discriminatory against salaried Kenyans. The reintroduced act still falls short of addressing the how in bringing into the fold the non-salaried Kenyans to pay the levy. Arising from the challenge, President William Ruto has controversially claimed to have a deal with the judiciary. Jumatatu, mimi naenda kuweka sahihi, sheria mpya, ambayo tumekubaliana na mahakama, Ya mambo ya housing. But we shall deal with the ignorance of the judiciary. I have never failed you and I will not fail you on this one. So take heart that it shall be done and your policies shall pass. Let me ask our judicial officers not to allow themselves to be used by the cartels that are sabotaging the housing program. In the absence of a clarification from the third arm of the government on the side agreement, Observers may take the remarks as message of intimidation to the courts, to which those opposed to the housing levy have been turning to. The housing levy is now law, and so begins yet another phase of a journey which, to a majority of Kenyans, remains a journey to the unknown. Countless questions compound President William Ruto's housing promise, all pointing at the emerging gap between his pre-election promise and the post-election reality. So how will it really Look in the end. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.